Ho, 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 shut up and say, whoa, for tonight we are looking at the NECA Toys Holiday Fiend. Welcome, my friends. I am Tyrannosaurus Moth, aka TS Moth, with another review. And this figure is not without its flaws, and we'll get into that. Um, but for now, extra points to you if you got that the reference I just made a few seconds ago was a Blitzkid reference, not a Misfits reference. And uh, yeah, let's talk about this toy. Let's do this. aesthetics uh, and honestly this figure looks really good all the paint apps super clean the sheen and the vibrancy of the colors on the on the soft goods is really nice trying to focus here there we go sheen's not really gonna pick up probably quite as well here on on my camera but you get the idea uh, look at those face paint apps again super sharp super nice great sculpt as well um, in terms of the cloak itself, we got a little bit of wire here on the top part of it, which definitely helps getting stuff out of the way. Um, the cloak is really simple, but super effective. And I mean, not that it really matters because you're not gonna be seeing it a lot because most most people aren't gonna be po like displaying this without the cloak. Uh, underneath, just a black buck. Um, don't know how well that's gonna come across on camera kind of lewd I guess for Christmas but you know um, and there you go I guess that's aesthetics so next let's move on to the accessories next up is accessories and honestly the holiday fiend doesn't come with too many which is good because I can keep this short and sweet uh, all the fiend comes with is an alternate head um, the one I'm holding in my hands right now is actually the one that comes on the figure I prefer the classic look which is why I switched it out um, can see that the default head comes with pretty cool white, green, red, and some little bit of purples in there under the eyes, which looks really cool. Uh, paint apps, cleanly done, just like the rest. Um, and with that, there are also two hands that are in the exact same relaxed pose, uh, which are also white, green, and red. Underside or the palms are the exact same, just kind of flat white as the classic look. And then finally, comes with bag of gifts. Actually looks kind of empty. So not too many toys for kids this year. Just frights. Um, and yeah, I guess that's it for accessories. And then we're gonna move on, I believe, to the next section. Now moving on to articulation. And now is the part of Festivus where, that we call airing of grievances. Uh, this is where I'm gonna go over some of the, the major flaws. I see in this figure, and not that I expect this figure to be like super crazy and able to balance in crazy ways and stuff like that. I mean, it's mainly going to be a, a Christmas decoration, but um, there's some things with the choice of plastic and stuff like that, uh, and specifically why, if you've noticed, it the fiend here is kind of always looking up. That kind of bugs me, and I'm st I've filed a question, complaint, what have you, with NECA's customer service, and I have yet to hear back from them because it's Sunday, so I don't expect to hear from them yet, but uh, we'll see how that resolves. I guess if you follow me on Twitter, you'll you'll find out because I'll probably say so. Um, but starting off, as you can see, uh, our festive boy can hit his splits just fine. Um, under there, um, there is... A cut, so you get some thigh swivel, single jointed knees, again you don't need much more, single joint on the foot as well, so you can kind of do that. So not a ton of range, but there doesn't need to be, except here, full on splits. Um, so here is the first issue, uh, if you'll notice, those are not straight. Um, this one, again, feels like consistent plastic all the way down. This leg, for whatever reason, is super gummy. I don't know what happened there. Uh, I don't know if that was the temperament or tempering of the plastic as it came out of the mold or what. Um, I'm assuming that's not every figure, it might just be mine. But it is what it is. Um, going from there, it's a little harder to show the arm articulation 
Uh, so, gonna do what I can. Uh, we do single jointed elbows. The lighting might not be fully catching this, but uh, yeah, you can come up a little bit. Back down, you got the, the hinge and the swivel at the hands. Uh, the arms do have a bicep cut, which I can feel under there. I just can't show it. Uh, arms come out pretty high. Go back down. There is no ab crunch or anything like that in there. Um, and then going up to the head, and this is where the problem was, because when I replaced the head, uh, the hat does come off, and then you guys kind of more of it, more of the standard fiend look, crimson ghost look. Uh, why he's always looking up? Because when I tried to remove the head that came on it, the barbell just split in half. Uh, and this is a very hard plastic for both of the heads, uh, also the barbell and the body. I mean, again, except for this one, his right leg, which is gummy, everything else is super, super hard plastic. And uh, coming into the head, let's see if I can zoom in on that. This might be a little bit too dark. Tried to light it as best I can, but uh, you can see the top part of that barbell joint is just stuck in there um, so figure out how that resolves and the other halves in there uh, so beware if you want to switch things out if you don't want to then obviously that'll be fine uh, for me I'm potentially depending on how everything works out maybe I'm just gluing this back on who knows um, but that's it. And so I can't tell you what the head articulation is because I didn't actually get a chance to really play around with it before the snap. <laughs> um, but that being said, that's kind of the motions and yeah, you get a lot for what is effectively a Christmas decoration, so that's cool. And uh, yeah, so that's all I got to say about articulation. Let's move on to some size comparisons. How does the Holiday Fiend size up? Uh, let's take a look. I'm gonna make this one kind of brief. Uh, if you want more robust size comparison sections, let me know. Uh, I tried to kind of mix this up every time, make it a little more interesting, um, but I don't wanna dwell on it too long. So what I'm gonna do for this one is I'm actually just gonna show you what I have it on the shelf with. So the, we're gonna look at the Frosty Boy crew um, as of right now. I want a little bit more of a holiday display, but ended up not being able to get a couple of things. So there's gonna be three figures we're gonna look at. First one is going to be Marvel Legends Build-A-Figure Wendigo, uh, sorry, Yeti figure, which is actually, as you can see, a little bit taller than the Fiend. Uh, definitely, I mean, appropriate for a Yeti. Uh, so that looks pretty cool. Kind of blends in the white background though. And speaking of which, we're gonna move on to the G.I. Joe Classified series, Arctic Mission Storm Shadow, one of my personal favorites. So glad this came out. Um, the Fiend is obviously way taller, so you got kind of a strata going on here. Makes it interesting to try and get going on the shelf. And lastly, uh, we're gonna look at Cryomancer Arms Sub-Zero from Storm Collectibles, who is also a lot shorter than The Fiend. Uh, and those arms looking really cool on Sub-Zero in the light. Um, yeah, and that's how the Fiend sizes up. So there you have the Holiday Fiend. Does it look cool? Hell yeah. Are there issues? Double hell yeah. Um, again, if you want to keep the standard or the, the stock hands and head on there, mostly the head, um, obviously you're not going to have any issues with that ball joint. I did. Um, which is a which is a bummer. I kind of hope it works out. Um, however, I did get one other NECA figure earlier this year, the Alpha Predator, and that had super floppy legs, which I think might be an easier fix, especially if I get the Kix uh, joint tightener. So we'll see how that works out. But those two being the case, I might kind of be easing off on NECA figures or not getting them, who knows. Uh, but ultimately, what do I think of this one? Certainly as a Christmas decoration or holiday decoration, it works really well, especially if you are a huge Misfits fan. Um, or you're, yeah, even if you're just a passive Misfits fan, or you really like the Crimson Ghost character from the 1940s, uh, this is definitely a figure for you.
So thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the bell thingy so you can get notifications. And uh, be kind to your fellow humans. Be kind to your fellow collectors. Uh, most importantly, be kind to yourself. And I will catch you next time. Goodbye.